do how that one do how that one grandma had to do to that one nigga. Should be sad. Got right here. So I'm about to try these, bro. I showed y'all this in one of the one of the previous vids. I'm about to finally try these right here. I just put some guacamole over top of some uh buffalo chicken dip. So you about to go ahead and eat that, bro. All right, so we about to go ahead and try this shit. First, we about to try the shit by itself. I ain't never had this ever. I don't know. Fiery, fishy, mango. Oh, these bitches smell good. I thought they was gonna stink. These smell good. Smell better than what they what they said it is. I ain't gonna lie. So we gonna try one by itself. See, this is how this shit look. Look just like a, uh, what's that, spicy nacho? Spicy nacho Dorito. See this? Nope. I don't like these bitches. Hell no. That shit tastes so weird. That shit tastes so weird, bro. I think about to try something. They taste mad weird, bro. I just don't like that first taste. And it tastes fiery after. A little hot, like a little bit hot after. I don't see myself eating these. That's what I'm saying, like. I mean, yeah. it looks cool. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like the design. Yeah, nice. Cool. But this is just all for like tasting purposes. These is not something you eat on the regular. These is not it, bro. These is a zero out of 10. You would never catch me picking up this bag. You would never catch me eating this ever again. As far as that, I got some, I got some, I got some of my personal chips upstairs I eat that with. I was gonna try a little bit of that with that. Bro, them is. Mm -mm. Gee, I just can't do it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I catch y'all a little later. All right, I showed y'all the chicken dip, man. How I got it. Put some, put full, one full avocado on top of that thing. These are the chips I was referring to. I said I got some chips. Y'all seen when I got these at Sam's Club. I'm only eating like a few bags just to go down. Probably like, honestly, you'll probably like one or one or two bags. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go too crazy. This is like work snacks and shit. This is enough to last me for like two two and a half weeks, you know what I'm saying, at work. Without buying any bullshit snacks, cause they, you know, they got their own little store thing in there. But that shit be waxing, bro. It add up, you be like, oh, this cheap's only a dollar, bro. But you go there every single day, you go in there six days a week, bro. You spending like, well, probably like $20, G, cause you just trying to get a whole bunch of shit that you can eat for that day. And yeah, that's not happening, bro. That's right here. Actually, it wasn't a bad idea for me. We already rated this. We ain't ready. We're not about to rate this. We are because we already rated it. But just want to give my niggas a couple bites, man. One thing, it's not about being a long conversation. I promise. Life gonna take you to twists and turns, nigga. Before you get what you truly want, he's gonna make you face what you haven't faced yet that you need to face on your journey to get what you truly want. And stop, change your mind about the, the currency that you want to attain. You want more money, right? Okay, so what's the highest currency on this earth? I'm gonna give y'all a moment to answer that. Three, two, one. If a lot of y'all say uh, money, highest currency on this earth, a lot of y'all say uh, networking, it's the highest currency on this earth. So it could be a whole bunch of answers that I'm probably not thinking of right now at this moment, but you are. I'm here to tell you you're wrong. The highest, the highest, 
highest currency on this earth is energy, bro. Have you ever realized the higher that person energy is, the more money they can attain, the more anything they can attain? Not just money, bro. It could be whatever they want out of life. They truly, personally want out of life. They could attain it. It's energy, bro. Master your energy, G. That's why people say this. Y'all think the niggas that's lame be... Lame niggas be saying this, but this that lame nigga, that nerd nigga, he got more money. He got his life more together than you. He got he got stains just juggling way better than you. Once you got you ever see them hamster wheels? Wheels, you just have too many hamsters on that wheel, G. You have to you have to knock some of them hamsters off out your life, bro. You have to have you have to minimize yourself, bro. The simpler your life is, and it's hard day to day. The easier your life is eternally. The harder your life is day to day. No, the easier your, your life is day to day, the harder your life is eternally. Y'all have to understand, if you face an adversity, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing every day. You're you're doing these big things. You're focusing on yourself. You're eating healthier. Eating more clean. You got more fruits, whatever. However, bro, everything you want. It's just outside of that box that you you trapped yourself into. That social media shit. And feel like you have to do this for people. You feel like you have to oppress people. You feel like you have to get chains. You have to get jewelry and shit for people. If you're not getting it for yourself, what is you getting it for? What did you get all these diamond chains for if you're not getting it for yourself? You're not getting something. You're not getting tattoos that's meaningful. What are you getting it for? To oppress bitches? For the females to oppress niggas? Like, oh, he might like it. He like... He said he like a bitch with tattoos, so since Davey and Omar said he like a bitch with tattoos, I'm going to get hella tattoos. Take your life serious, man. <laughs> I'm going, man. I'm going to throw this with whatever video it is, man. And I'll catch y'all in that shit. <laughs>